This video is going to be a film study look at Kyle Hamilton, but also a, a commentary about how unrealistically high the expectation level is for him at this point after the 2023 season. I don't, I don't think the numbers really even do his play justice. He did miss two games. Uh, the Ravens held him out late in the season. Once we had uh, come close to clinching the AFC uh, number one seed, I think in order to understand how well he played, all of us, myself included, would have to watch highlights maybe, but also 10 or 12 plays that are designed to show his versatility, designed to show the many different ways that he was deployed in Mike McDonald's defense and that the number of game-defining plays, game-changing plays, if you will, explosiveness, awareness, range, all of that on a six foot four, 220. Well, they list him at 220. I personally think he looks like he's 230. He's just a unique player in the NFL. I, I don't know who to compare him to at this point. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have a player comparison that you think works. I, I don't at this point. I think he's the first of his kind as a, a safety hybrid nickel safety who can slide down and play various positions inside the box, quote unquote, uh, someone who can be anywhere on damn near every play. I do plan a larger film study of his season, uh, this offseason, and I think what I'm going to do is combine it with, not to compare or contrast, but with Brian Branch film. Because for me, from my standpoint, it's a blessing to get to watch film of those two guys being Lions and Ravens, uh, nickel slash safeties. They really do play a multitude of assignments with a similar tenacity and explosiveness. I think H Hamilton brings couple different elements that Branch doesn't have. But look, this this video is going to be an exploration of how high our expectations are for Hamilton. And I get it. He had 81 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, three sacks, four interceptions, one of which he returned for a, uh, a touchdown. I think he also had a forced fumble, four or five quarterback hits. We expect him to be brilliant on every snap. In my opinion, in the Chiefs game, there's three plays in a row where he very clearly was. It kind of reminds me, I'm a basketball guy from the standpoint of how the sports that I played the most, so I, I tend to fall back on basketball comparisons. It looked to me like a guy who, on those three plays against the Chiefs, and I think it's fourth possession in basketball, hits a three-pointer, goes down on defense, blocks someone's shot, and finishes off the ensuing fast break with a dunk over the span of maybe 20 or 25 seconds. Now, those three plays really in real time, probably encompassed about two, two and a half minutes of time, I guess. But it's a situation where I thought he looked like the best player on the field. Having said that, to be honest with you, early in the Kansas City game, I think our defense looked unprepared. I don't, maybe you don't share the same word. Maybe you wouldn't use a synonym to unprepared. Low situational awareness, I think could be applicable as well talking about the opening two possessions, and I will show some film where I think our expectations for Hamilton and our defense by extension was so high that we were uh, disappointed with what the defense showed. So having said that, let's get the film started here. This is going to be first possession for the Chiefs and a little RPO slash play action look between Mahomes and the running back. And then a flip out to Kelsey for six yards, four yards, excuse me. Uh, you may think it's innocuous because, first of all, it's a great play by Kyle Hamilton making the tackle. I, th I have a problem with what we didn't take advantage of, meaning anytime that Kelsey, their number one receiver, their number one playmaker, is thatched to the tackle of the right, uh, the right tackle or the left tackle, that close to the tackle, we've got to get hands on him, in my opinion. And we wouldn't be giving up such easy gains that you'll see in this video two or three times. Uh, Hamilton making the play for a four-yard gain is the design of the defense. We can do that because we have Kyle Hamilton. Did we, If we had a lesser talented player with less burst range, if you will, and then tackling ability, we, wouldn't, we would have to play in a more fundamental manner. And I offer to you that I think we should have as it relates to Travis Kelsey. But this is a Kyle Hamilton video, so to appreciate the play I think is quite easy because it's a quick completion early on for only four yards. All right, moving forward. On that possession, very similar here conceptually, except Kelsey has crossed the formation. You got an RPO hitch, and we're just totally outnumbered. Kyle Hamilton this year and last year, when he makes a tackle, like the momentum stops. I'm thinking of Nico Collins for the Texans. He tackled him in the regular season, uh, week one, and 
all of Collins, and he's a monster, six foot four, I think two twenty plus as well. And Hamilton just stopped all forward progress. Check this out: when the ball is out here to to Rice, look at the numbers that are developing in terms of an offensive lineman coming out to block, a second offensive lineman out to block, Rice with the ball, and then a receiver. I think Watson. Any way you shake it down, it's a four on three. If you want to count our uh, players in pursuit, looking at it now, you can see the lane. Uh, we've opened ourselves up, and we didn't identify, in my opinion, that Mahomes' propensity, at least this year, to throw quick screens, hit screens, bubble screens, whatever, is all to his right. The offense is right, the defense is left, and you see that consistently early on in our game, in the AFC Championship game. Another tackle by Kyle Hamilton. All right. Same drive, first possession, 13 personnel uh, numbers is all it is. The Chiefs are outnumbering us at the point of attack. I also think Roquan is, uh, for whatever reason, unable to uh, deal with the blocker and make the tackle in the hole. You've got Williams inside of the number one receiver with an angle. Queen, I think, is doing a great job taking on the block. Hamilton is the guy who makes the tackle, and you can see he's 15, 17 yards deep past the line of scrimmage. Never good. I think it ends up being a 12- or a 13-yard gain. Darby's involved in a tackle as well. End zone angle, same play. Checo able to squirt through, like I said, 12, 13 yards. Moving forward, still first possession. Pass to Kelsey over the middle, fourth and two. It's an unbelievable throw and catch by those two guys. I think the Ravens have... Most of the time in this game, we were moving Hamilton to Kelsey's side. So smart movement, if you ask me, by the Chiefs to put Kelsey backside, which they do often, and then basically force us to declare. If we're going to play man, then presumably Hamilton would be over there, and that would tell Mahomes something about the coverage. As it stands, we play man on the backside. We don't touch Kelsey at all uh, from a from a linebacker standpoint. Nonetheless, look off his back foot, kind of across his body. Mahomes making the throw up high on what I believe is a fourth and one. And an unbelievable catch by Kelsey over the top of Brandon Stevens, who gave up a couple of third and fourth down receptions. But that one there is um, high level, if you ask me, in terms of the execution. So first possession, we're now... Um, Going to be the touchdown. I can't show you the All-22 because I believe this one's already been shown on the NFL YouTube channel. So I have to kind of watch myself in terms of what I show because some of my videos lately have been ended up being redacted like government documents. So look at Van Noy and, and we've got Kelsey. I think we had the wrong approach, the wrong mentality. No disrespect to the other tight ends, but not the same level threat between those two players lined up at tight end, nor would any other tight end that they brought on the field. We are lined up almost foot to foot with Kelsey. I know that some of you say, well, coach, we got to get pass rush. I think we've got to get hands on Travis Kelsey. I think we've got to disrupt Travis Kelsey. I think he's the center point of the offense in terms of playmakers. And uh, look, it's an amazing throw by Mahomes. Got to give him credit for that. I think Hamilton's in good relationship. I mean, there's not really, he can't defend inside and outside and underneath the receiver and over the top. I mean, he is six foot four, 220, 230, 235, if you believe me. But nonetheless, he can't cover all eight sides, or all four sides, you know, horizontally and vertically. And it's a great back shoulder, underthrown ball, intentionally so, by Mahomes. I can't really show you the all-22, like I said, but it, there's an out-and-up nature to this that uh, Kelsey tries twice later on in the first half, and neither one of them works. I'm not sure that this one necessarily worked in terms of getting him open, but it certainly worked in terms of giving Mahomes that low uh, – target to throw it closer to the sideline than Hamilton was and the credit those guys being able to make the play touchdown on their first drive moving forward second possession and you're going to get a double blitz by Stevens and Hamilton I think as the second as the second position closes when we get to the third and fourth you really see Hamilton kind of take over spots of the game I think this is designed to be the the dual corner blitz because it's 12 personnel meaning you got two tight ends. So I think this gives you some insight into how McDonald calls place. It's called in the huddle. So the double blitz is communicated from Humphrey as in, hey, you take over the double blitz, Kyle, because you're the nickel. I can't do so from such a wide alignment, being meaning Marlon Humphrey. And in this case, Stevens is the corner, and Hamilton 
is the nickel, but they're both executing the same blitz from the outside. You can see both of them are free. So awesome job by McDonald of identifying that it was probably a run on the second possession. Loss of two on a uh, first and 10. End zone angle, same play. We are in our nickel uh, front. Why would we be in our nickel front versus 12 personnel? I think because McDonald knew that he was going to call the stunt. So sometimes I think that's the genius of it. If you go base, look, you've already got a 5-2 a, a in the box or a 3-4 in the box. In this case, the corner, Stevens, ends up being the other outside linebacker, OLB, DN, whatever you want to call it, because he's blitzing off the edge, and Owe is supposed to, in my opinion, uh, get to the inside shoulder of this tight end, but he's not doing so. Tackle for loss, Hamilton on second possession. Same possession, third and one. And I think this is an, another example that I've illustrated a couple times of our priorities being slightly askew. We're worried about Mahomes, rightfully so. He's a great player. He's Hall of Fame bound already, clearly. But our assignment is Travis Kelsey. We have hands on him here. When I say that our expectation level is too high, for Kyle Hamilton, I guess this is what I'm talking about. I'm expecting him to be able to do two things at once. Number one, cover Travis Kelsey and stay in relationship to him, and I don't think he's done so, and or shed off of the block of Kelsey, which was a fake block in the beginning, and then go get Mahomes if Mahomes scrambles. I think he's not the contain player. Contain is a quarterback uh, phrase. The contain players here would be 97 and Clowney. Hamilton is, I think, assigned to be the force player, which is different from contained. Force player is the guy who's tasked with forcing any run to the inside, and in my opinion, Hamilton can't let anyone cross his face, and in that situation on a third and one, he did. Six-yard completion to Kelsey for a first down. Second possession still, we flipped. I think we're second quarter at this point, looking at a third and three. Hamilton, I think, does a nice job um, up top. He's going to track across here when Kelsey motions from one side to the other. And this is that same out and up that I described. Great illustration of how um, underrated Mahomes' athleticism is. Four-man rush by the Ravens. Clowney stunts inside. And Mahomes patient enough when no one's open to be able to scramble and still get, I think, four yards on a third and three. Kind of surprising for me that uh, Queen isn't more like in the middle of the formation. I think he should be... Uh, matching the quarterback's horizontal alignment, meaning if Mahomes was over here, if his feet were right here, then it's fine for Queen to be here. In my opinion, he needs to stay fronting him up and not give up leverage. But nonetheless, look, Mahomes is still so athletic that he's able to get out of there and get the first down, crucial first down, because that one allowed them to get a second touchdown. Moving on, third possession here. And this is going to be another screen out to the right. As soon as Kelsey goes over there that far outside of the slot, you can pretty much bet that it's going to be a pass play. But Hamilton, thankfully, is the guy who's there because I still think we've got a problem with numbers. Is there a contact with you know Roquan Smith's helmet once? Not once, but twice? Yeah, absolutely. But credit to the Chiefs for running these screens to their right and getting their guys out here in space. They're trying to get a second and then a third guy out here. That's how athletic their offensive linemen are. Luckily, we have Hamilton, who's there to make a tackle on a second and seven to hold him to only six yards. Later on in the drive, this is, of course, our stop. Um, after our turnover, Hamilton's up to the top side. You'll get two views of this one, all 22 and end zone. I think Travis Jones does an amazing job here for real um, on the front side. I'll give you the end zone in a moment. Jones is down here. Unbalanced configuration. Uh, by the um, by, the Chiefs, meaning there's there's tackle over. Got guard, tackle, tackle. And now up here to the top side, you've got guard and then tight end, tight end. So it's 12 personnel, but they've gone with an unbalanced line, meaning a three-man surface over here to the side. Some people wouldn't call it unbalanced. They would just call it tackle over. But it's an ineligible player as the third, third man in a three-man surface. So that's why I would call it unbalanced. Normally the third player... Uh, who's covered up is is third player would not be covered up, excuse me, because it'd be an eligible tight end. 
So normally this player here would be on and that receiver would be off. And since it's a tackle who has not reported eligible because they didn't want us to know that they were going with a, a three-man surface over there, it looks like to me Clowney is the guy who tried to kick maybe or maybe he just ended up off balance. But uh, Travis Jones wins here on the front side and then amazing effort on the back side here, if you ask me, by Hamilton and then Malik Harrison uh, to get the stop, fortunately, for the Ravens. Tells you about uh, Hamilton's commitment, his explosiveness, and then we did kick the line over because we recognized the unbalanced side. I thought it was close. I thought Pacheco uh, damn near got it. So we're now into the fourth possession, and this is the last, I think, three plays of this video. And look, I think it'll show how ridiculously talented uh, Kyle Hamilton is. I think there's going to be a lot of contact here. 13 personnel play action by the Chiefs, so credit to them for going with a personnel grouping that would kind of tell us, hey, we're running the football, and then go and play action to the backside X. They're trying to get Kelsey here to hold the front side safety, so when this route, this route crosses over to the other side, that safety is held, that safety is pulled up. And you can see that Hamilton just did not go with it at all. And Mahomes still hasn't let go of the football. And Hamilton's already going with the other vertical. The um, anticipation, if you ask me, and he's entitled to his space. So I, that's why I don't think that's a pass interference. Give you the end zone angle of that one as well. You will not see Hamilton as uh, Mahomes releases this football. But he's already started to move Hamilton into this direction here, where the where the football was thrown. He's already started to go there. Play recognition. He understood. I think he knew what the play was once it was play action. And he did a nice job, if you ask me, of just selling the fact that he didn't know where the ball was. Let Rasheed Rice run into him. Ends up being incomplete on first and 10. Again, this is fourth possession. They scored on their first two. The third possession, we were able to get the stop on the fourth and one that I showed you. Travis Jones, Hamilton. In on the tackle. So now we're very next play, a second and 10. And this is just something that the Chiefs did a lot of in this game, whether it was run or pass plays, just outnumber us. That's all I see. I didn't see a whole lot of uh, people just getting beat other than uh, Kelsey beating us for the touchdown. This is just quads. It's just four by one. They're trying to outnumber us to the quad side or to, to the strong side. And here's Hamilton. I think he's dealing with a tight end. Gets involved in the tackle, no gain on a quick screen again to Mahomes' right. I haven't seen, I've seen screens to his left, Mahomes' left, but they're, they're all delayed screens. Quick screens are all to his right. Hopefully I said that in a way that makes sense. Third and 10, the very next play on that fourth possession, Hamilton on the blitz. Great job by him and Owe timing up Owe's rush to the outside and Hamilton's blitz to the inside. You know, I know we're losing McDonald, but we've been taught and practiced the timing on these blitzes. We shouldn't lose this skill. This should be a skill that we, as a defense, no matter who's out there, um, have retained. I also love that we finally have someone fronting up Kelsey, whether it's a guy who, can, who you think can actually guard him for long. It's Van Noy, so no, he can't. But he can at least play on a leverage side. At least we have someone fronting him up. And then Hamilton's blitz is getting there before Mahomes is able to uh, try to develop anything. At least when I say Hamilton's a unique player, I think it's shown just in these last three plays. You have a guy who covers the deep half of the field and understands the routes in an AFC Championship game situation, understands the routes that are going to be run, breaks off of Kelsey's route, and goes with Rasheed Rice immediately before – Mahomes even started to pull the pin on the grenade and throw the football. He was already breaking, number one. Number two, takes on a tight end and makes the tackle on Rasheed Rice on the screen on the ensuing play. And then here is used as a blitzer, gets a hit on Mahomes. We are blessed to have a guy like this play so well already in his second year. I have no idea what ensuing years will look like if Kyle Hamilton stays healthy. Uh, he's an all-pro every year, if you ask me. I'm just not sure how offenses can attack the space, the area that he lines up in, and avoid having him make plays. Un unless you can do what Mahomes did on the touchdown pass and and throw it in such a manner that it's on it's on the back shoulder. Really, it's on the back quad of Kelsey such that Kelsey can go down and get it. Also, before the ball is there, Kelsey's 
a nice slick little job of, of extending a little bit to, to get some uh, a little bit of separation or room for him to turn back there. But nonetheless, man, even though I think that we left opportunities out there on the field overall as a defense, and I was very critical during this video, and I understand some people may not, dis may not agree with it, Kyle Hamilton's ability shines through on the fourth possession and in the second half as well. Uh, where the Ravens' defense really played shut down across the board. I appreciate you guys' time, man. Let me know what you think of the video. I understand it's been hard to uh, watch film study videos since the loss, but this is one that I held on to. I, want, I wanted to do a season-long study. I felt like this was a unique opportunity for me to show how multi-talented Kyle Hamilton is and, and was in that game against the Chiefs while we still left some opportunities out there on the field as a defense overall that I think uh, really let the Chiefs get rolling on the first two possessions. Appreciate you guys' time, man.